Hey everybody, today I wanted to take a quick look at the new Logic 11 update and show you guys a crazy cool way I figured out how to integrate its new AI tools into my existing Superior Drummer workflow. Let's get into it. Oh, hey Kevin. So here I've got my template for songwriting set up already, but if we go into our regular Superior Drummer track, usually I would just control click or right click and create a MIDI region. All we have to do is create a session player region. Put on the cycle here just so we can loop it for now. And it's honestly already set up. Let's bring down the complexity if we want. Even change the whole thing out here. So let's try a funky songwriter instead. Maybe with a different kind of pattern in it. So we want snares on twos and fours and a little extra kick second time around. This is arguably faster, in my opinion, than talking, even, to some drummers. Make the fills a little more complex and put them in more often. And let's really pull the beat back. Look at that, we've got something kind of swinging around a bit now. Speaking of swing, let's put some more swing on it. And change to a whole new pattern maybe with a halftime feel. Going into, where was the feel? There's tempo. Halftime. If these kinds of tools don't make you want to write music, I don't know what will, man. This is a whole drummer with the superior drummer fantastic sounds fully mapped at your fingertips. And it's really as easy as that. You can write on top of that with the new chord feature, get some AI bass going in there. Maybe we'll do a video on that next week. But for now, just go check out my live streams where I'll be using these tools every week on Tuesday to write entire songs. And yeah, I've been Rick Chappell, you've been wonderful, and I will see you guys in some next random cool update when Logic keeps coming out with cool stuff. See ya.